I'm William Nozak, and in this lecture, I'm going to talk to you about transactional queries. Why should you know the different types of queries? Okay, there are three types of queries, navigational, informational, and transactional. Navigational and informational are a little less closer to the bottom of the funnel than, say, a transactional. Usually in informational, people are kind of researching. They're at the top of the funnel. They may be at the middle of the funnel. Um, navigational, I need to find locations. I need to get to the movie theater. I need to find the locus, local this or that. Those are also great searches, especially if people are trying to find you to come in to buy from your store. However, when it comes to SEO, certainly want our, our local SEO, our GMB, our directories to target those navigational, which is highly driven by um, reviews, um, proximity, and just the consistency of our name, address, and phone. Um, informational and transactional, really informational top of the funnel. We are going to target this with our content strategy. And then, of course, we're going to rope that content down into how can we provide the service um, for the content that you're researching or reading. So basics of a transactional query. One, what is a transactional query? How should a business target transactional search queries? What is a transactional query? Transactional queries, just like they sound, searcher has intent to make a, a transaction, to, to make a purchase. And so we're going to call these do searches. If you use answer the public or um, go into Google and start typing and it starts to fill in some of the, the language of what's the most often searched stuff right after the words you put in, hit enter, go to the bottom and look and there's some more very often uh, typed in queries. I would usually just go over to answer the public, type in the keyword as short as possible. And then I'm going to look for the, the who, what, where, when, why that really tells me someone's got intent to buy. Those are going to be transactional based queries. I can use those to really modify my content and my strategies and everything we do um, on a website, directories, GMB, et cetera. So let's look here. So most, most often a transactional search query centers around a specific brand or a product name or a service like ASIC shoes. However, it can also in ASIC shoes, we'd call that a branded term. However, it can also be generic like men's running shoes. That's what we're going to call a, a non-branded term or include terms like buy, order, purchase, download. If you're a local service or have a brick and mortar, a word that you often see is near me. This type of traffic tends to be high value. It's high value because it's at the bottom of the funnel. Bottom of the funnel means it's ready to buy. It's, 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 it's really ready to make a decision or this traffic of these users are ready to make a decision. So we call them at the bottom of the funnel. And in a business, we've got the top of the funnel. People are learning impressions, trying to figure out what they want or what they need and a little bit about it, see if they can do it themselves. In the middle of the funnel, eh, we're trying to figure out who does this service and what's the differences and what the prices are. We're getting closer to buying. Bottom of the funnel, I know I want ASIC shoes. I know I, I want to find men's running shoes. I know ASIC has a brand. I want to see who's, uh, what's out there and who can, where I can get the best deal and figure out what I want for what I'm looking for. So um, a vertical search commonly includes local ser searches, hotel searches, restaurant searches, theater searches, and a lot of language here is going to be near me or I want to buy or purchase or, or a specific name of a product or a service. How should a business target transactional search queries? Of course, PPC is great. Whenever you can... Whenever you understand where your organic is, what keywords we rank for naturally in, uh, in the SERPs, certainly want to have an ad strategy that kind of fills the gaps there in Google, right? We know these terms are highly competitive. We're just not ranking for them. We're going to buy them. And then in Facebook, we can run ads over people that have interest of those products or products like ours and, and really target interest groups and, um, and, and then email users that, we've, that have interfaced with us. And we know that people like this would also probably like to buy from us. PPC is, of course, a no-brainer uh, for targeting Bofu. For, of course, other businesses, uh, the cost of ads are market-driven. Market that means the market forces um, define the price. So if the price is $5 per click, there are other businesses out there that are saying, I will bid for that click because it is worth it for me to buy 100 clicks because in 100 clicks of $500 a click, I've got $500. I know I'll get two sales out of that, uh, two sales for me is worth $1,000. That would 10x my money, money, or I have an ROI of 10 to 1. And so if people are buying these clicks, the higher price can kind of show you some of that. You, you know, the lower price items sometimes can tell us that too, that maybe there's just not, nobody, it, they're really sometimes not worth buying. Not always, but this is kind of an indicator because price is defined by other competitors willing to buy. So PPC is going to help us fill some of those gaps that our organic is not covering. Um, certainly buy ads. And then organic and featured snippets, building our, our pages to rank in BOFU searches, right? We want to have content that's the top of the funnel. We want to be known as the expert, have authority, and gain trust. We want people to share and get featured snippets through Google um, featured snips, 
um, the, the little questions and answers that Google bleeds, we want to gain those because it's going to help us gain brand, gain brand recognition, brand awareness. And then when people get through their search sequence, they see us talking about it at the top of the funnel. They see us as an option in the middle of the funnel. And certainly where they're targeting them with our ads, our local SEO, and our organic at the bottom of the funnel, and boom, just gives us more of an opportunity to be chosen. So certainly ads, certainly organic and featured snippets, and then local SEO. If you've got a service um, that services an area or a brick and mortar, it certainly makes sense to have a GMB and directories built out around that with social medias and, and, and presence. So really, there's these are uh, three really good ways to target transactional search queries. That's a transactional search query. If you need to go back and watch that, go ahead. If not, I'll see you in the next module.